This video presents how to hotlink external IFC reference files to the design project. Hotlinked modules allow you to insert the contents of external source files into the currently open host project. Hotlinked modules can be used to manage the repetitive structures of buildings such as hotels or offices with a high number of identical rooms. IFC is an open standard and it's great to exchange design information between various disciplines. Now ARCHICAD supports hotlinking IFC files to the project. Once an IFC hotlink is inserted, all future changes to the external source file will be automatically and instantly carried through the host design file. There is no need to create additional PLN files for design information exchange. Let's display the floor plan view of the project, and then insert an IFC hotlink using the file External Content, Place Hotlink option. You can use the Select Module option to define the external source file to hotlink to the currently open host project, while the Hotlink Settings panel offers various placement options. Let's add a new IFC hotlink module to this project using the From File option. Please note that from now on, IFC files can also be specified for hotlinks. In this example, we'll add the load-bearing structure created by the structural engineer as an IFC hotlink. After specifying the appropriate IFC hotlink source file, we must continue to select an IFC translator. There are various preset default translators optimized for specific applications. Let's select the general import translator from the list. The IFC open options dialog provides further information about the content of the translator. Please note that the general translator uses the ARCHICAD template file. In other words, the information and specifications that need to be used by the translator is now available from the ARCHICAD template file. The .tpl template file, together with the selected translator, defines the classification of the placed elements, the layers and materials used, and so on. The Settings panel provides information about the conversion settings such as model filter, type mapping, geometry, and layer conversion. Please note that additional ARCHICAD.TPL files can also be created and specified. After specifying the appropriate translator and selecting the IFC hotlink module, we can define various placement options. We can specify the master layer for the hotlink, which defines the visibility of the placed module. We may also enter a master ID for the hotlinked elements or define the angle of orientation. We can specify an elevation offset value for the hotlinked elements. The Adjust Elevation option ensures that the hotlinked module will adjust to the stories of the host file. By using the Keep Elevation option, the hotlinked elements will retain their original vertical position relative to the hotlink insertion point. If you use the Adjust Height option, the top-linked elements will stretch to match the story structure of the host file. By using the Keep Height option, top-linked elements of the new hotlink will retain their original heights and will not stretch. Let's select the Keep Elevation to Story Structure of Host Project this time. We can decide on the location of the generated library parts. The library parts generated during the import process can be inserted to the embedded library of the host project or can be saved to an external location and linked to the host project manually. Using the Embedded Library option most of the time is recommended. If the hotlinked source file contains multiple stories, then we can define how to associate the story structure of the host and source files. If the stories of the source file fall outside the story range of the host file, the elements on such stories will not be visible until the story structure of the host file is extended. Now the IFC hotlink has been successfully inserted into the host file, so let's have a look at the results in 3D. 
This is the view of the architectural model. The hot-linked structural elements are not yet visible. Let's hide some of the layers so that the hot-linked structural elements become visible. Here's the 3D view of the hot-linked structural elements designed by the structural engineer. All hot-linked elements are visible, yet they can't be changed or modified in the host file. It must be modified and updated by the structural engineer. Let's now see how to update the IFC hotlink if we receive a new structural design from the engineers. We can simply overwrite the existing IFC file with the new file on our computer. To update the hotlinked content in the host file, we can use the hotlink module manager. This is available from the file, External Content menu. All we need to do is select the hotlinked IFC file from the list and then press Update. Please note that this type of update process will not only update the content of the hotlinked IFC file, but will also update the template files associated with these. IFC hotlinks enable designers to hotlink external design content, typically created by the engineers, to the design project. The management and update of such referenced engineer content is faster and easier thanks to hotlinks.